Hello friends, I'm Rosa. Welcome back to the channel. So the setup is a little bit different today because I thought it would be fun. I hope the sound is all right, by the way. We're actually at my workstation. This is where I normally record for my main channel, but I've never recorded for this channel at this setup. So it feels very weird <laughs> also because I'm standing up, but I thought it would be super fun to do the TBR a little bit differently for November because I wanted to do it through a color generator. So I found a color palette generator that's called Coolers. And we're gonna be using that to find the books that I'm reading in November. So we're gonna pick, let's say, 10 total so I have something to choose between. And it's all gonna be based on these different palettes. So we're really gonna rely on me remembering what my books look like. <laughs> and I'm a little bit nervous about it. So just to clarify, I am recording this at the start of October. It's in the middle of the night. It's currently past, half past. 12, but I was so excited to record this video and I'm recording it early this month because my bookcases are currently organized in a color palette so I thought it would be a little bit easier. I also want to reorganize them this month so we had to do it before I did that. But I got this camera up. I have my microphone right here so I really hope the sound is okay. I also have a different camera over here so you can keep track while I'm finding the books. And we're gonna jump to the page right now. This is Coolers. We generate new palettes by clicking on or pressing the space bar. So, oh, that's perfect. I know exactly what this book is. So let's use this as an example. Give me a moment. <laughs> we might be missing a little bit of a gray, but you see what I mean? Or a blue. We're missing a little bit of blue because she has some blue on her hands. But we got the greens, we have the black. Her top is also gray and there's also white. So this is where I'm gonna go with this. I just have to heavily rely on me actually remembering what my books look like and them just popping into my head when I see the palettes. This though, I feel is a very good first choice or a very good first one. So we're gonna keep this. As for what Elisa and her monsters is about, it is a young adult contemporary where we follow Elisa who is very shy. She also deals with social anxiety as far as I remember, but in the online sphere, she has like a much bigger presence. She writes, is it fan fiction or she writes fiction? Yeah, she's the creator of a very popular webcomic that's called Monster C. So while she's not very comfortable in her real life, in her online life, she is just able to be herself. And then one day there is a guy who transfers to her school who happens to be basically her biggest fan. And so as the two of them get to know each other, Elisa starts to wonder if maybe the offline world is also worth living just like the online world until one day her secret is actually shared against her will and we'll take it from there but that's as far as I've gathered that's as far as I remember so for an online creator myself I feel like this is actually a book that I will maybe be able to relate to a little bit so Elisa and her monsters will be the first one so let's continue to book number two a lot of purple some gray and some white see I had an idea but the dark purple doesn't really fit let me go look feel like any of the books that I have purple fit well because they either have like gold in them or blue. I have none with this exact color scheme so we're gonna try again. Oh this is fun. That is a very wait. I as is, is that not it? I mean it's kind of pink-ish but can we can we just is it not close enough? I feel like this might be the closest that I'm gonna get. Cause I also had a look at I Kissed Shara Wheeler, but that is also leading pink instead of this like lavender, which is technically purple. I'm gonna go with the Dragon's Promise. It's not a full on fit because it is more leading pink, but it popped to mind. So I was like, yes, <laughs> we're gonna go for it. So this is the sequel to Six Crimson Cranes. And in Six Crimson Cranes, we follow Shiori, who is a princess. She has six brothers who she loved very, very much. They live in a world where magic is basically forbidden, but Shiori actually has magic. I don't remember if she's busted doing magic or exactly what happens, but I know that Shiori ends up being cursed by someone. And this curse means that Shiori is not allowed to talk because whenever she talks, one of her brothers 
who have been transformed into cranes as well. They've also been cursed. Whenever she talks, one of her brothers end up dying. So she's exiled from her home and is basically on the run. She can't communicate with anyone. No one is allowed to know who she is. And that is all I'm gonna say about the first one. It's a lovely book, by the way. Six Crimson Cranes was such a cute, young adult fantasy. I really enjoyed it. So I have been very excited to read The Dragon's Promise. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. It does feel a little bit like a summer read, but it's fine. Okay, let's try next one. I do not, is that neon? I don't have any neon in my collection, no. <laughs> Oh, that is a very interesting color combination. See, this is a nice palette. It's a nice fall palette, but book covers tend to not really have this amount of color on it or on them. So I don't think I can find anything that fits. I'm gonna quickly have a look, but I would not count on it because there's a whole lot going on here. Yeah, I think I can safely say it's the green. The green is very uncommon on book covers. It's not in my collection. I don't think I can find anything. Where is the purple coming from? Everything was so calm and like cool and then dark purple. Just to throw you off fun. Honestly, I've already read this, but this would actually work. You can't really see it. But if we go by Deep Champagne being gold, there's dark purple on the back of the cover. <laughs> there's a little bit of blue in the, in the clock. And there is definitely gray and also different variations of this like tan champagne, as they call it. So this would work, but I've already read it. So, okay, next. Oh God, no. Ooh, now that is cute. That is, I love this color palette. This is a nice, very nice color palette. Let me have a look. I'm kind of like, this is not fully hitting it. We're also missing a little bit of like skin tone color, whatever that is. And I think this is leaning like too dark for this color scheme, at least as, high as I can see it right now. So almost want to go for this one, but I think it doesn't really fully fit. But this one I might be able to work with. This one I might be able to work with. Give me a moment. <laughs> so I think this comes close. I think we got something. Is that not, that is, I mean, we're missing some silver because the name, but right? We have the cooler, like blue, purple, indigo kind of color. There's the pop star. There's a lighter one here. Her skin color kind of reminds me of English Lavender because everything on this cover kind of has like a purple tone to it. So I think, I think we're good. Old Mo Mauve, I forgot how to pronounce that. I think this is it, right? This is it. This looks like, this looks like, yeah. Okay, I don't know what these books are about. <laughs> But it's Cinder by Mimers and Mayer in the first one in a series of four books, technically six. I have them all. I will be reading this one in November, but I'll probably read the rest in December. It's my plan to read them anyway. This is kind of the universe telling me that now is the time. But I don't want to know what these are about. It's young adult fantasy though. I'm so excited. This is perfect. When first I saw this color scheme, I was like, what's going on here? That's a whole lot of... And then it just clicked, you know? So this is it. Cinder. Yes. This generator really loves those pink and purple <laughs> palettes. I don't have a lot of pink and purple books, especially not with that colorful of a pink, the purple pizzazz. So we're moving on, but it's quite interesting that there's so many of these palettes. See what I mean? Continues. Oh gosh, what is this? <laughs> um, no, I don't have that. If anything, this would be a rom-com, right? Like this is definitely rom-com, but I don't think I have it. It's very, it's very extreme. Like it's very, very extreme, very saturated, very bold. I don't think I have it. Okay, so is this an all gray color scheme? Is this an all gray palette? So, I'm missing gold. 
but I have gone through maybe 10 palettes before I got this one. So I think we gotta, you know, interpret it a little bit. And so I'm choosing this one because there's a lot of grays in it. Since Lore or Medusa, I suppose it is. It's actually made out of marble, white marble. Oh, but this is so hard to summarize. It is inspired by Greek mythology and it's also a contemporary young adult fantasy. We follow like these people that are joining a tournament. So I think it's every seven years. Yeah, every seven years there's kind of this like almost like a battle royale where the current people that have the Greek gods' power are being hunted by other people and if they kill these people they will end up taking over their powers if you get what I mean and as this tournament I call it a tournament but I'm pretty sure that's not the term they use for it in the book but as it's starting again we follow Lore who has fled long long ago she's in New York City and she's contacted by, I think it's one of her childhood friends or something. A childhood friend who she thought was dead, but also Athena, who is actually one of the last living gods. And they kind of have to team up and go through this whole ordeal together. I know that sounds super vague, but I don't actually know much about lore. I remember the tournament thing though, so we're gonna go with it. <laughs> Even if it is a little bit of an interpretation of the color palette. So that makes three young adult fantasies. I'm missing some adult fantasy, but we'll see if we can still manage to find some in these palettes. So let's go. We got six more books to go. Again with the purples. This generator loves purple. So funny. Okay, so I feel like I have one for this possibly have one for this color scheme. It's another young adult though, but I'm gonna just get it. Oh, we're gonna have a look, okay? Give me a moment. Possibly the closest I can get, although this is definitely a little bit more on the blue side compared to green. And there's also a little bit gold in it, but I think it fits. I'm gonna kind of interpret dark jungle green as being black, because that's what it looks like from here. <laughs> I'm gonna make so many mistakes during editing, I just, I already know it. Like, I'm gonna sit here and look at the colors from an actual, like, the proper point of view and just be like, you're so off on all of them. I'm gonna go with this one though. This is the sequel. Oh, there's a, what is that? Well, that is blue and green. Wait, oh my gosh. I mean, there's no gold in this color palette, but I just noticed there's this little thing up here and you can't see, but that definitely has green in it though. Okay, so this is the sequel to The Cruel Prince, which is about Jude Duart. It's completely butchered her last name. Anyway, we're gonna roll with it. Who is a human living in the fey fairy world. She has been bullied by this group of fey that are kind of like noble fairies. So they have a lot of powers and you know, Jude is very much a very headstrong girl. She's not taking this BS. So when she is contacted by someone who wants her to do some, do like an inside job basically. That sounds like she's killing someone, she's not. Or is she? <laughs> But someone wants her to spy on people, steal stuff, and she's like, yeah, I'm gonna do it because these fairies have not treated her well, so she's gonna give them back. So it's about like court intrigue, royal fae that is just that, who are just terrible. And there might also be a bit of a bully romance and an enemies to lover situation, and we love Jude. So I'm gonna go with this. You can't really see it that well, but, oh, it's over here. But there's green in or on the wings of this little, the camera's not gonna focus, but there's green. So we're gonna go with it. Oh my gosh, halfway. Okay, cool. What's with the purple? Oh my God, it continues. There's so much purple on this palette generator. It's all pink and purple. You know, it would be funny. This kind of reminds me of a Magic Stephen Poison. There's some white missing and some black. There's also an, a bug on my screen. Okay, hi. But I've already read it, so we're not gonna go with it. It doesn't fit with any of my other books though. This color palette fits with Truly Devious perfectly. I'm just gonna show you because I already read it, so I'm not gonna include it, but I'm just gonna show you because you're gonna be like, I see it, like it's, Perfect. Okay, I forgot that her name is in orange. But all the blue, right? Like it's it's all there, but I already read it, so. Okay, I have an idea for this one, but it's a slight interpretation. So it's a slight interpretation, but it would fit with November as 
as well, I feel, at least. Give me a second. So it's not a perfect match. We are missing black, but the white and also the orange and the blue just reminded me of Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross. It's another young adult fantasy. It's okay. <laughs> it's also about another competition. So I feel a theme going on here with lore and also this one. We are dealing with dueling magicians this time though. And they're dueling for a title. I think it's called, I think it's the title of Warden. Because our lead girl has actually, it's her heritage. She is supposed to inherit the title of warden that her father currently has, but she is challenged by two other magicians and there's this whole competition going on because of this. Also an enemies to lovers situation. I am kind of unsure where exactly this takes place, but I kind of feel like it might be in the UK somewhere. And as far as I know, this is a very well-loved book. So I'm gonna put it on my November list. I got it in November last year, so I feel like this is fitting. It reminds me of a, uh, like it just has a rem remember, remember, November vibe to it. Okay, four more. Okay, this one might be our chance at introducing a little bit of adult fantasy into our mix. So I'm taking it. Give me a moment. Because I got the Stardust Thief and this is the Fairy Loot Edition, so it has purple instead of the original, which I believe is just like classic orange, reddish. Kind of looks like fire, I don't think it is. But we have the black, we have different variations of gray. Don't know what that color on the left is, but we're gonna totally just... It looks green when I'm here, but I... Thought it was white, so I'm going with it. It's a bit of an interpretation, but at this point, I'm okay with it. <laughs> this is turning out to be a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. <laughs> so this kind of reminds me of Aladdin. We follow a girl who, with her djinn bodyguard, hunts and sells illegal magic. One day while she's at this market, she ends up having to save a very cowardly prince, and unfortunately because of this, she gains the Sultan's attention, and he then blackmails her into finding a magical lamp. Do you see where I'm going? Yes. So our lead girl, her Jin bodyguard, I almost hit my face with my book. Okay. And also the Sultan's oldest prince have to go on this adventure together and we'll have to deal with all different kinds of things. And that's what this book is about. I am so excited to read this, like, been wanting to read it for ages. I'm excited. I'm gonna go with it, even though that green is not on this cover. <laughs> We're gonna go with it anyway. So this loosely reminds me of something that's not fantasy, and so I'm gonna go with it. It's an adult contemporary. I think we're gonna be fine with it. Although it's a little bit on the lighter side when it comes to this color scheme, like it's just a little bit lighter, but give me a moment. So, Archer's voice, there is a little bit of green on this cover, and I wasn't aware of that. I didn't remember that, but it's very much blue with a little bit of light blue in the middle. <laughs> so, I think this is the closest I can get to that color scheme and we don't have anything contemporary. Okay, we got Elias and her monsters, but that's a young adult. We don't have any contemporary romance, adult contemporary romance, so Archer's voice. I am actually unsure of what this is about. I kind of don't want to know, but I know it's a small town romance and I know that Archer, I he doesn't talk or at least doesn't communicate a lot and that's all I know that's all I want to know I want to be surprised by this so that'll be my eighth book for November my eyes are actually starting to turn pink at this point it's so late this has taken such a long time <laughs> this color seems are not working with me today like what is this you know I don't have anything this neon this keeps happening over and over and over it keeps, gives me the weirdest color combinations I don't know it would be a rom-com if anything but I don't have it so what I'm gonna do is for the last two books I'm gonna try to do just three colors to see if we can get some more books in the mix because I know that not all of my books actually have up to five colors on them on the covers so we're gonna try with three just for the last two and see if we get anything. This reminds me of Scythe, which I've already read, but just thought I'd mention it. <laughs> have you noticed that, do you have a lot of brown books? Because I don't. Especially not with red thrown in there. Like if it had just been brown, we could work with it, but, or like a black with red, we could work with that. This is like 
I don't, I don't really know. I don't know how to define this. Rufus, that sounds right. Yeah, that's okay. Red, yellow, blue. This is a flag. <laughs> I can literally do blue, yellow, pink, blue, yellow, coral, blue, yellow, so many colors, but not blue, yellow, red. Oh gosh, okay. Okay, so I'm not sure about the gun metal, but this kind of does remind me of something, at least the blue and the orange, red together. So we'll see, we'll see though. So the thing is, this is like, this could be so many colors, like so many colors could pop up for this to... It's like Warcross. Warcross has the rainbow, you know? What I first thought about though was Every Summer After by Carly Fortune because it has the blue, you know, in a different, different spots. The title is orange, red very much spot on, at least from what I can see. And it has like, it's not completely black, but it's almost black. Gunmetal is a very dark gray. So I feel like it fits, I wanna go with it. Do I know what this book is about? No. <laughs> but I've heard that it's lovely, it's an adult contemporary romance, and there's a second chance romance in it. That's basically all I know. So I want to put this it, every summer after. It's not a November read, but I'm gonna put it on the TBR because this color scheme just fits. And now we're gonna go for the last book. You can see that I'm tired at this point, but we're moving on. Like we're gonna go for this, okay? I am dedicated to the cause at this point. So, but not with this color scheme because I don't have anything in it. It's cute though, it's very cute. Oh geez. Wait, did I not just say I could do blue, yellow, pink? Didn't I say that a second ago? In these colors, I'm not not sure, but... I kid you not. I kid you not. Like, I know it's not spot on, but I kid you not. I kid you not. Okay, it's another young adult fantasy. It's Fire with Fire by Destiny Soria. I will say it's definitely slight interpretation, but it has blue, yellow, and pink. That's an unusual color combination on any of my covers. So this one is about two sisters that have been trained to fight dragons throughout their whole life. Until one day one of them actually comes across a dragon and instantly bonds with it. The other one though is very much like, no, we're not doing that. I am all for killing dragons. That's what I've been trained to do. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. And it may cause some issues for the two girls. So the two girl ends up on opposite sides in a war or at least a struggle and it's a whole thing. So Fire with Fire by Destiny Soria. We're gonna go with it. I mean, I could also have gone with, with this one that's literally on the cup or on the table <laughs> right in front of me, <laughs> but oops. So we got ourselves, there's a lot of young adult fantasy on this, but the majority of my library is also young adult fantasy. I think a lot of the adult covers also have color schemes that don't get generated by this color, color palette generator. So they wouldn't necessarily have shown up. Like black and red did not show up together, not even once, you know? And I have a lot of black and red covers. Or just like white and red did not show up together a lot. Black overall barely showed up. So if you wanna see another video like this, we might do it a little bit differently, but let me know. I am definitely up for sacrificing my TBR <laughs> for something like this, cause I am a very indecisive person, so it actually helps me out. So yeah, let me know. We can do some more in the new year if you are interested. I will make sure to leave a link to all the books in the description box if you wanna check them out. Also, if you wanna support the channel, I do have a Patreon, a book club, so if you wanna check it out, there's a link to it in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. We do buddy reads over there, I do exclusive spoiler read vlogs as well, so if you're interested, there is a link. But that's all I got for you guys today. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up. And if you're new here and you wanna see more videos like this from me, but also wrap ups, bookish unboxings, you know, all the booktube stuff, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button. But that's all, I'm gonna go to bed right now. <laughs> this took one and a half hours. I am shocked. It was a struggle. We did it though. It's gonna be a fun TBR, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. You know, you're beautiful, you know